Hello there from Just Doodle and Dogs. I just wanted to show you um, an example of how we get going with our puppies and potty training. I already have um, done a training video on the bell going outside. This is a bigger dog crate. What you want to do when you're potty training the puppy, and there are lots of ways to do things. Once again, this is just something that's worked out for us. You want a crate where your puppy can actually stand up, turn around in a circle, lay down stretched out. Most puppy crates are going to be a lot bigger than you need because for potty training purposes, the puppy will stand up, go to the back of the crate and go pee or poo, whatever. They'll eliminate and then they'll just crouch in another corner because typically dogs don't want to potty in their bed. So you want to make it small enough. You can put a tote inside there and block it off for the first little bit until puppy grows just a little bit bigger. Um, typically, they're not going to be able to hold their bladders at night for the first little while. You're going to have to get up a couple of times in the night just to let them go outside. I wouldn't say anything to them. I wouldn't give them lots of affection. I would just, again, take them straight over to the door, ring the bell, and go straight out in the pitch black, come back inside and put them in. So what we like to make for puppies that are, you know, learning to potty train when you go away from the house and you have to be away for a little while, our puppies are potty trained to the litter box, which you've probably seen that on some others of our videos. So we'll just call this the little puppy condo. You can get a gate and set that up so puppy is safe inside. There's toys, there's water, we feed twice a day. Sometimes you can feed three times a day, your puppy, if you choose. Right now, puppies are actually putting their scent on these blankies. We like to send our puppies home with the scent of mommy and litter mates. So that's what the puppies are in the process of doing right now is putting their scent on these little blankies that are going home tomorrow. So I hope that helps. This is just, you know, some of what we do when you have to go out for a couple hours and you know that your puppy can't stay that long in the crate without having an accident, it's a really good idea just to have a litter box and an area where they can hang out and be safe.